Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C. here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing great. Welcome to the Art of Noise. Welcome back to the Art of Noise. So just a little update on the snake inlay neck kit guitar that I ended up doing a build on uh, not too long ago. I threw it up on eBay to see what it would do. And this is the outcome of the selling and uh, a little bit of the feedback from the buyer. So here's a little update on the Epiphone Les Paul Special 2. And you can see here, I kind of changed things up a little bit uh, around the edges. The original body had rounded edges, top and bottom, and I kind of want to put that back on the top. Uh, planing the top of it ended up getting rid of some of the rounded uh, edge on the top. So I ended up getting my router out, a rounded bit, bearing bit, and just going over the edges and of adjusting the bit as I went around to get a little bit more of a profile going uh, and then taking some of the dye that I used for the top diluting it with some water because as soon as as soon as mahogany gets wet or you end up putting it clear on top of that uh, it ends up making the mahogany darker so what I want to do is still have that purple to match the body the top of it uh, but not be too dark to where you can't tell what it is. So what I ended up doing is just watering down the original purple dye that I used for the top, applying it around the edges, and then taking some steel wool, dumbing that down a little bit with the steel wool. And then when I put the epoxy resin over that, it darkened it up a little bit to where it, it still matches the body but it's not dark enough to where you can't tell it's there. It's You can still see it. So this is a little bit of what the body looks like now. Once this cures up with the epoxy resin uh, 100%, I will end up sanding this down and then applying another, which would be the last coat of the epoxy resin, just a very thin skim coat around the, on the top of it. Uh, then I'll be working on routing out the pickup cavities and the neck cavities and then drilling out for the bridge be very easy I like doing it this way to where it's a solid top on there to where I didn't have to mask off anything there'll be a lot less sanding to do later on uh, for the finishing and buffing work if any there might not be any sanding or, or polishing afterwards because the uh, tape that I normally use usually gets bubbles and stuff around the edges of the tape and I'll have to sand that out and kind of like do a little bit of a skim with the epoxy resin around that area uh, with my finger or something to kind of fill in those bubbles so you don't see them anymore. But otherwise this way here it's a nice clean look. The headstock is going to match 100% Jeff Lee at Diamond Cut Graphics ended up uh, stripping out the new logo for this thing and once that comes in then I'll be finishing up the headstock as well. Right now the headstock is uh, incomplete. It just has the seal coat on it and I end up doing the edging work uh, exposing the mahogany around the edges the same way I did with the body so they both are going to match pretty much a hundred percent. 